And good morning, 619 on a drizzly Saturday morning. It is also cold on top of that. Thankfully, the temperatures are above freezing, so we're not worried about any kind of freezing drizzle and or freezing rain out there. The streets should just be wet. However, they can still be slick. This is our KB Complete City Cam looking down into the plaza. We have another view here from our mobile storm tracker. We have it out this morning. It's mainly been on storm on uh, I-635 northbound, and it appears to continue in that direction with a couple of raindrops hitting the camera lens from time to time. If you see any snowflakes today at all, maybe one or two, but just a little bit of uh, maybe a few flurries. I don't know that we see any measurable snowfall, even as far north, maybe up to Maryville. That's how far you north have to, have to go to today to see any of that. Otherwise, it's just this gray, sort of cloudy start to the weekend. All right, coming back here, and if you're headed out to see the Plaza Lights this evening, it will be dry by then. Cloudy, chilly temperatures in the mid-30s, falling to around 33 by 10 o'clock tonight on StormTrack 5 Live Power Doppler. There are pockets of drizzle out there that conventional radar just can't pick up. It's looking at reflect reflectivity. It likes to bounce back off of larger objects, raindrops, snowflakes, and it's just not seeing any of that. It does see a few of those from Waterloo, Iowa to Des Moines, westward toward Omaha, but even this is fizzling out as it heads to the east over toward uh, western parts of Illinois and the Quad Cities. Meantime, 35 in Kansas City under a cloudy sky. We have a north-northwest wind at 13 miles an hour. That's another factor this morning, which we'll continue to talk about, of course, during the next half hour. Feels like temperature 26 degrees in KC. I'm sure it feels colder in other areas. So here we go at 6 a.m. You can see just a few showers or little drizzle pockets around. Uh, forecast track continues to try to bring in a little bit of light snow up to the north, but that fades away by 8 a.m. But the gray skies just never leave us until tonight. And then overnight tonight, we could see lows dropping into the lower 20s. Tomorrow morning, Butler, Clinton, Lacine may just get brushed with this storm that moves across Oklahoma and southwest Missouri. May just get brushed. I'm not looking at much in the way of accumulation there. And then Monday morning, temperatures are down into the 20s. Once again, it'll be cold. Here's your planner for today. It will keep the weather alert going for at least 8 and 9 o'clock because of the drizzle. Otherwise, the temperatures are in the mid-30s. 35 at 10 a.m., 37 at noon. And this afternoon, right there, boy, it just doesn't budge. So uh, whatever you put on this morning, if it's a rain jacket, and it's some, a couple of layers to keep you warm. That's going to carry you right through the day because things just aren't going to change. Security Bank seven day forecast tomorrow, 40 degrees. A nice Sunday uh, here in Kansas City. I guess nice comparatively to what we're seeing today. Monday, partly cloudy and 40 degrees once again. And on Tuesday, a 20% chance for a couple of snow flurries. Boy, it's a cold day, 36, just 39 on Wednesday. Look at that morning low Wednesday morning down to 18 degrees. Well, we've been into the teens one other morning, and so that'd be the second time uh, so far this fall. And then as we head toward Wednesday, it's 39, it's 47 on Thursday, upper 40s by Friday. As we head toward winter, December 21st, this is your first day of winter forecast, 53 degrees. So that's warmer than average for this time of the year. We'll continue to track the drizzle. And the temperatures, a key component this morning, making sure that they don't go down to the freezing mark or below. Carolina. A 